Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna look at some more best builds to prepare for the brand new seven star terror raid event for Rillaboom. They'll be dropping next week in Scarlet and Violet. So starting on the 28th of July, the Rillaboom 7 star terror raid will be coming to Scarlet and Violet. We know it will be a normal terror type and it's likely to have the move options like Woodhammer, Stomping Tantrum as ground coverage. It could potentially have knockoff, dark coverage, a flying type coverage in acrobatics and fighting type coverage as well with either drain punch or more likely hammer arm and then it will have some sort of normal type attack to play off that normal terror typing now that could be special it could play off boom burst it would make sense for the drummer pokemon to have something like a sound based move like boom burst that is a completely different throw off to normally going down a physical route whereas the options there would be something like facade body slam or even something like giga impact which are its main options options it does have set up options of course in things like swords dance bulk up it does have disruption in screech at low your defense by two stages every time it uses it so that's something to consider taunt it does get access to and then another combination that it could see uh, is something like sunny day and then growth as well because a sunny day will turn growth into a one stage attack and special attack boost into a two stage attack and special attack boost under the sun so that could be something that we do see as well making rillaboom quite formidable at the base of things rillaboom is a very very strong defensive pokemon it's going to be hard to break it down it's got big hp stat and very good defenses so it's going to be something that you're going to need to have combinations for to really deal with effectively in the game and although we did cover predominantly a lot of fighting types in our last video we did cover three pokemon that weren't of a fighting type that did offer a little bit of a different strategy for going in against rillaboom but of course it's going to come down to a lot of factors when that rillaboom raid does get announced these can change some of the builds of course depending on when when Rillaboom clears the stats on your side of the field, when it clears the stats on its side of the field, and when it puts its shield up, as well as what options it has in its move pool. Is it going to have fighting coverage? Is it going to have that flying coverage with acrobatics? Is it going to have ground coverage? All of these different options throw up different questions for what Pokemon would be more suitable to the raids. And of course, when the raid does go live, we'll be able to kind of hone down these options a lot better and produce what Pokemon can solo this thing more effectively in battle as well as what Pokemon are going to be able to go online and really perform very well if you are doing it online. So the Pokemon that we are featuring in today's video, the, all the builds will be down in the description if you want to take a look at them, but we'll be starting off with Corviknight. I think one of the best options going in against Rillaboom despite the build, despite how it comes into the raid, and you're going to have the tools with the Corviknight to really handle it pretty well. It's going to resist all of those grass type attacks. It's going to resist the ground type attacks if it has ground type coverage. It's going to resist the flying type attacks if it has as acrobatics and it will also be neutral to those fighting type attacks that it could potentially have so all in all Corviknight a very solid pick going into Rillaboom we have chose the fighting terror type on it and you'll see why in a moment we've got the leftovers option on there as an item it can be changed for something like an expert belt a shell bell item if you want but I feel like the leftovers gives you that nice recovery each turn just to kind of keep your staying power on the field it is level 100 as always and we have a move set of roost iron defense screech and body press it is one of the only and few pokemon that we've got access to in the games where you're able to have that combination of screech iron defense and body press and not have the weaknesses to grass or ground type attacks that are likely going to come out from this really boom the nice thing about corviknight as well is it has that ability mirror armor so any status attacks that come out from the really boom like screech or something like that will be bounced back onto the really boom and it will be affected and you won't be affected by it so it's a really nice ability overall and i think the combination of having that roost with the setup as well means that you're going to be able to stay on the field set up and even if you do get your stats removed early on in the battle you're still going to be able to kind of have a clean setup and then start throwing out some big damage very quickly onto the rillaboom so how body press works is the damage isn't calculated off your attack stat it's actually calculated off your defense stat so using this in combination with iron defense where you're boosting your defense it's making body press even stronger so that's the stat that the power is based off from body press the ev spread that we've got on this Corviknight is 252 HP, 252 defense. And of course, as well with that steel typing, you're not gonna really worry about any normal type attacking moves that come out from the Rillaboom either. So you can fully invest in defense and then that HP with a bold nature on there as well. So this is the basic premise 
of the set you're going to set up those three iron defenses from turns one to three then go for those screeches turns four to six and then you're going to start launching off the body presses and roosting as and when you need that recovery so that is the Corviknight and I do feel like probably the best option if you're wanting to build something going into this raid that's going to give you a very solid option whatever the build of the Rillaboom when it is finally released on the 20th of July. Next up, we've got Glastria, the ice type legendary Pokemon from Pokemon Sword and Shield. It is pure ice. We've given it the fighting terror type and the shell bell is the held item. Level 100 and a little bit like the Corviknight, of course. Um, we have got a moveset of Mist. That is going to stop any stat drops on your side of the field for five turns as long as that Mist is in effect. So if we do see something like Screech or anything else like drum beating, lowering your speed or anything like that, then Mist is going to protect you and your ally Pokemon for five turns as long as it's in effect then we've got iron defense it is again going to boost your defense by two stages every time you use it tail whip is a way to reduce the defense on the rillaboom side of the field it won't work through the shield though so as soon as that shield goes up you don't rely on the tail whip you'll have to wait till that shield is broke but then you can use that in combination with the iron defense and then body press combination that we talked about with that Corviknight. so we're playing along those same lines here chilling rain is the ability you only have that option and it's not really going to come into effect in this raid at all unless you want to start knocking out partnering pokemon which could be an option to boost your attack but again that's not really going to benefit you at all because your main attacking move plays off your defensive stat rather than your attacking stat we've got an ev spread on this glastria of 252 hp 252 defense and then we have the remaining put in the special defense with a calm nature so you think you're probably asking why we went for a calm nature over a bold nature and if we don't see something like boom burst on the rillaboom then change this over to bold and just have that full defensive investment there just to maximize the damage output that you're doing with body press as well as minimize the damage you're taking from Rillaboom. But the calm nature on here is to really cover in case we do see that boom burst. So you've got a decent amount of special defensive investment with that boost that you're getting through the nature there because you've already got such a high defensive stat. So like I say, if we don't see any boom burst, I would suggest going bold on this. If you do see boom burst, then I would stay with this set that we've got here in that calm nature because we're only relying on our defensive stat anyway but that spread investment that we've got on our defenses just gives you a bit more stability in case we do see something like boom burst come out from the rillaboom but that is the glastria and again a really nice option i think because it has an ability to lower the defense on the rillaboom it gives it a different dimension it's going to expedite the damage that you're going to be able to do once you are set up uh, that some of the other options in this video don't have and it's a bit like the corvonite just not as quick with that screen reach over the tail whip that you've got the option there next up is Torkoal the fire type with a fighting terror type level 100 it is going to have that shell bell as its held item and it is a very unique pokemon it's very strong defensively so going up against the rillaboom it's going to be very good it's going to resist those grass type attacks as well and for the most part it's not really going to worry about any of the big physical attacking moves that are going to come out from the rillaboom except for stomping tantrum of course when you do end up terrestrializing you're not going to have that weakness anymore and you will obtain a weakness to the acrobatics but by that stage you should be set up and not need to worry about that big physical attack coming out and threatening you because you're going to be in such a good position where you're not really going to have to worry about it at all if it has got stomping tantrum the one nice thing you would say about Torkoal is it's naturally very good defensively so it still will be able to shrug those attacks off but with the setup that we've got on the Torkoal once you start kind of getting that setup in motion you're not really going to be affected too much by even the more super effective attacks anyway so the moveset that we've got on the Torkoal is going to be clear smog iron defense amnesia and body press we've got the ability white smoke which is gonna stop the Rillaboom from lowering stats on your side of the field which is a big thing so if it has got screech it's a little bit like the mirror armor on the Corvignite, knight except if you don't bounce back those stat changes we just negate them all together the white smoke going to give you complete immunity to any stat drops on your side of the field we've got clear smog that is going to be able to remove any stat boosts on the rillaboom and it works through the shield as well so if we do see it going for growths for sword stances for bulk ups we are going to be able to use that clear smog at any stage in the battle and just remove any of those boosts so it's really good for supporting partner in pokemon as well as just making sure that your talk calls nicely in a safe position iron defense is there obviously that combination with body press we've talked about on the glass tray, the corviknight it works exactly the same you're going to aim to get three of those off and then utilize body press 
because it is going to be maximized damage there and the amnesia is there to give you a little bit of coverage if we do see something like that boom burst if we don't see the boom burst then the amnesia is not needed and we can replace that with something else of course on the set the ev spread that we've got in the tall call is 252 hp 252 defense and the rest put in special defense with a calm nature and again the nature here is decided on just to give us coverage in case we do see that boom burst it gives us a little bit of stability against that potential special attack that could come out from the rillaboom just in case it's there if the boom burst is not the option then we want to just change that to a bold nature and put all of our eggs in that defensive basket because then will benefit us more for longevity on the field as well as being able to have a bit higher damage output from that body press as well but that is a tall call I think a really nice option going into this raid and something that I could see having a good time no matter really what the Rillaboom set would be. The next Pokemon in this theme of body press users is going to be Gudra, the Steel and Dragon type. This is the Hisuian Gudra. We have got the Fighting Terror type on it, of course, as well, with the Shell Bell held item, level 100 as usual, with a moveset of Shelter, Charm, Life Dew, and Body Press, and the ability Sap Sipper, with an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 defense, and a bold nature on here. So boosting that defensive stat because Gudra and Hisuian Gudra, one of the things that they do have to their own benefit is a sky high special defensive stat as well this is who in Gudra if we do see any sort of special attack and moves come out from the Rillaboom it's going to be able to take those really well as well as resist them with that steel typing that it does have access to normal type not effective against steel typing so the basic premise of this is shelter is going to boost your defense by two stages so it's a bit like an iron defense and that just boosts the damage of body press we've covered that before charm is there to support other team members and also yourself and uh, the one thing that you would have to worry about with Hisu and Gudra being having that part steel typing is again dumping tantrum could be a bit of an issue and although you are boosting your defensive stats if the Rillaboom has something like sword stance or even growth under the sun you're going to want to kind of try and negate that as much as possible to kind of make sure that you're staying on the field so you can get your strategy pulled off and charm allows you to do that lowering the attack stat on the Rillaboom by two stages every time you use it. Just bear in mind that you won't be able to use this through the shield. So that's one of the drawbacks. And we are in this list going from what I think is the best suggestion in this video and that Corviknight to the not so best suggestion. But all of them I do feel will be able to work against this really boom when it does go live life dew is there to give you and your partnering pokemon uh, a quarter of health every time you use it so it's a little bit of recovery there for you as well and combine that with the shell bell you should have a good line of recovery to keep gudra on the field for as long as possible and especially once you're set up you're going to be in a really good place you're not going to be taking much damage from the rillaboom and um, you just need to watch out for when it resets its stats and your stats as well so we've covered hasuian gudra the other gudra we are going to cover is the regular a Gudra uh, and just pure dragon typing fighting type terror typing on it as well same item choice same level and everything like that the one thing that it does have at its advantage over the Hisuian Gudra is it doesn't have a weakness to stomp in tantrum so you don't have that ground weakness but you are going to be a little hit a little bit harder because you don't have that resistance to normal type attacks if we do see something like boom burst body slam facade or anything like that from the really boom you will be taking just neutral damage from those attacks but uh, the move set is going to be acid armor so a little bit like shelter a little bit like iron defense is going to boost your defensive stat by two stages every time you use it it's pretty much in essence the same set just different moves we've got the charm there again we've went through that the life due for recovery and then the body press to play off that acid armor and then with your terrestrialization of fighting type you're going to just expedite the damage even more ev spread on this gudra is going to going to be 252 HP, 252 defense, bold nature and the rest put into special defense. Sap Zipper is the ability. Again, we didn't really talk about that too much with the Hisuian Gudra, but Sap Zipper gives you complete immunity to all grass type attacks. Now you do have the part dragon typing here, but I guess it's going to benefit you more, a little bit more when you do terrestrialize into that fighting typing, just to make sure that you're still not getting hit for big damage from those big grass type attacks that's going to come out from Rillaboom that's also going to be boosted from the grassy terrain that it will summon to the field for five turns so both Gudras here have that Sap Zipper ability both will resist it in their base forms but when you terrestrialize that ability will really be 
very beneficial for you going forward. And I think the Gudras are going to be good Pokemon to take online, support fellow players online with the access to recovery for you and your teammates and that charm. It is going to be something that can be utilized quite well. Of course, keep in mind as well, if you want, you can also run Acid Spray to support partnering Pokemon if you're going online with Gudra because it gets access to that. So you can lower the special defense of the Rillaboom two stages every time you use it. And that can make going through these raids a lot quicker as well if you've got some Thing where you're able to help it set up like a Lucario or something like that with the Aurora Sphere and you can reduce that special defense by two stages every time you use it. It's going to be a very valuable member online as well as being able to kind of perform a solo role. It's just not got the ability to lower the defensive stat of the Rillaboom unlike some of the other options that we've got here which will mean it is going to be a little bit slower if you are going to dedicate it to be something that you take in to use as a solo Pokemon. And finally the Pokemon I'm going to finish up with today is Zamazenta, legendary Pokemon from Sword and Shield, fighting type, fighting terror type on it as well. We have given it the Rusted Shield item, which gives it its crown form when you do enter the battle. And obviously with its ability Dauntless Shield, you get a defense boost as soon as you hit the field. We've given it the moveset of Light Screen, Iron Defense, Snarl and Body Press with an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 Defense and Rest Put in Special Defense with a Impish Nature. So Light Screen's there in case we do see something like that boom burst you're gonna have no resistance to it to begin with but when you are in your crown form you will be fighting and steel so you will have a resistance to it but it just gives you a little bit additional support the iron defense of course like we've said already boost your defense by two stages every time you use it snarl as well is there again it's just another measure against those big special attacks that you could see coming out from the really boom you don't have a way to clear the stat boosts on the really boom side of the field so you just keep that special attack stat that in check if we do see something like the boom burst then that is a quite a nice option and that works through the shield as well and then you've got that iron defense and body press combination which is going to be very strong going into this raid because it is normal type so they are everything that we're going to cover in today's video and i do think the corviknight out of everything is probably the one thing that you can build of course when the raid does go live on the 28th we will go in and do a lot of testing and then we'll throw up what our best solo build options are going to be going into that weekend when the raid goes live. But I hope you found today's video useful. All the builds will be down in the description below. If you found it useful, please drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Thanks for taking the time, friends. Take care of yourselves. Until next time, bye-bye.